scientists have discovered a possible new planet in our solar system. We're identifying a, another planet in our solar system. It's sort of like an indication that we really don't know everything there is to know about our solar system. New research suggests the existence of a new planet in our solar system. In recent years, our perspective of the solar system has drastically changed. We were raised with a clear understanding of what constituted the solar system. We were positive that the solar system had nine planets. But, in August 2006, Pluto, the smallest and farthest planet in our solar system, was classified as a dwarf planet. And, humanity has been hoping for a ninth planet since then. Seems as though our prayers might have been answered. In this video, we'll talk about the new planet. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video to know everything about this exciting new discovery. Our solar system is much more complex than first appears. Astronomers have been searching for a planet 9 for the past few years. Planet 9 is thought to be a massive planet that orbits someplace beyond Pluto and has an unseen influence on the orbits of smaller objects in the outer solar system. The numerous dwarf planets appear to point toward this undiscovered, larger-than-Earth object, but scientists have not yet located it. Some astronomers believe that it might just be a sampling bias and not be as strange as it seems. Therefore not all of them assume it to be a matter of time. One theory for its existence is the clustering of a few small icy objects at the solar system's edge into oddly similar orbit. All of these objects are located in the same area of the solar system as Pluto, the Kuiper Belt. All of these objects, including the dwarf planet Sedna, orbit the Sun in lengthy, slender elliptical paths. They are tilted at nearly the same slight angle relative to most of the solar system, and they all make their closest approach to the Sun in roughly the same region of the solar system. It appears that the gravity of a much larger object, possibly a planet, is stretching and tilting the orbits of these tiny objects. In 2016, Michael Brown and Konstantin Batagin of Caltech published the results of their computer simulations, which suggested that a planet with a mass similar to Neptune, orbiting invisibly about 20 times farther from the Sun than Neptune, might be responsible for the gravitational nudge that explains the collection of tiny Kuiper Belt objects. Since then, some scientists have been searching for Planet 9. While others have disputed the existence of the undiscovered huge planet, Planet 9 is likely to be on the outer, icy reaches of our solar system. According to the simulations created by Batagen and Brown, Planet 9 should be 20 times further from the Sun than Neptune on average. Neptune orbits the Sun at a distance of roughly 2.8 billion miles, where the Sun is considerably fainter and appears to be just about 3.3% of its size in our sky. Our little blue planet orbits the Sun on average at a distance of 93 million miles. The Sun is expected to be 56 billion miles from Planet 9 on average. The Sun would appear to be just another star in the endlessly dark sky at that distance, though it is still far away at 380 times the distance between the Sun and Earth and 10 times the distance between the Sun and Neptune. A study released in September 2021 reveals that Planet 9 may be closer to the Sun than the original models indicate. According to Batagen and Brown's models, only an object with about as much mass as Neptune can stretch and tilt the orbits of Sedna and the other clustered Kuiper Belt objects. That means Planet 9 is about 10 times as massive as Earth, making it a little smaller than Neptune or Uranus. The most likely theory for Planet 9's formation is that it formed in a region of space similar to that of the other major planets and was ejected during planetary migration by the gravitational pull of its neighbors. The computer simulations that first predicted the existence of Planet 9 also predicted its orbit, which is most likely an extremely long, thin ellipse. It is still far distant from Pluto even when it is closest to the Sun. It would take Planet 9 between 10,000 and 20,000 Earth years to make just one orbit of the Sun at a distance of around 56 billion miles. Scientists at Harvard University, including Avi Loeb, suggested that Planet 9 might actually be a tiny black hole located somewhere in the Uit cloud. If Planet 9 turns out to be a black hole, it will likely be approximately the size of a grapefruit, but 5 to 10 times as massive as Earth. The only way to locate a black hole would be to look for the radiation flashes that are emitted when a hapless comet passes the black hole's event horizon, because black holes are by definition so dense that even light cannot escape their gravitational pull. And that's exactly what Loeb and his colleagues are planning to do, by using data from the Vera Rubin Observatory's decade-long sky survey, Legacy of Space and Time, which will start in 2023. In the next 10 to 15 years, astronomers aim to gather images of Planet 9, but don't expect such images to be visually dazzling. The hypothetical planet may be 56 billion miles from Earth, so it receives very little light from the Sun and reflects very little light back to us. A few pixels on a black background are probably what the first images of Planet 9 will look like. The long-lost planet may someday be revealed in greater detail by subsequent expeditions, but it must be located first. 
For the past five years, astronomers have been searching for Planet 9, but it will receive a new name once it stops being a theory. The team or individual who actually makes the discovery receives the honor of naming the new planet. Therefore Brown and Batigen may or may not get to name it. Whoever does get to name the planet will need to receive the International Astronomical Union's approval before the name can be used officially. Large planets in our solar system typically have the names of Roman deities. But, our home planet, Earth, is an exception because its name is derived from an old English term that simply means ground. But in recent years, astronomers have begun giving the Kuiper Belt's objects names in honor of indigenous deities from all over the planet. For instance, Sedna is named after an Anuit sea goddess, and Makemake is named after a Rapa Nui creation god. So, if there's a huge planet lurking around the edge of our solar system, astronomers will probably find it in the next 10 to 15 years. Astronomers may have a better chance of discovering Planet 9 with the help of the next generation of telescopes, both in space and on Earth. For instance, the dim, far-off planet should be seen by the Vera Rubin Observatory, which will start its 10-year sky survey in 2023. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope might also present a different possibility. It's also possible that the Planet 9's first images have already been taken. A number of astronomy teams are scouring data archives from the WISE and NEO-WISE missions of NASA, PANSTARS, and the Catalina Sky Survey. Astrophysicist Scott Tremaine claims that if the gravity of the unseen planet causes the light from nearby stars to be bent, evidence may also be found in data from the European Space Agency's Gaia Star Mapping Mission. Although no one has discovered a previously undiscovered planet in the data as of yet, Batigen, Brown, and others claim that they are narrowing down the search. Aside from everything, critics that say Batigen, Brown, and other proponents find an unreal pattern in the clustered orbits of Sedna and Associates. Planet 9 critics claim that because we have only studied the orbits of a tiny number of objects in the outer solar system, the small sample may appear to reveal patterns that would be obscured by a larger body of data. However, even after researchers took into account the tiny sample size, the cluster of comparable orbits still stood out, according to a report released in September 2021. The authors of the study estimate that there is a 0.4% possibility of that pattern developing randomly. Planet 9 is now merely a theory put up to explain that pattern. However, it joins Neptune's discovery 200 years prior, which was a similar discovery. John Couch Adams and Urbane Laverrier, two astronomers, independently observed that Uranus' orbit appeared to be being affected by a powerful, invisible source of gravity. They began looking and ultimately discovered Planet 8. So, let's just be patient and hope the astronomers find Planet 9, because only by thoroughly searching the outer solar system, we will find what we're looking for. Thanks for tuning in to Starburst. We hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new about the incredible world of space. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode.